it has to have a, a slope to get you to the pooling area and then below that you're going to have its infiltration, infiltration area. The materials that would go into it is loosened subsoil and then you'd have a gravel or sand uh, layer which is going to absorb the water and then you'd have soil or composted mulch or something like that that you're going to call your growing medium to grow some plants in and then the whole thing has a slight, very slight depression in it to contain the water so that it doesn't wash off the surface. Definitely we wanted something Definitely not so much for, you know, what's its purpose as far as the water issue, more so aesthetic, you know, do people, are people going to sit on it? Yeah, probably. So we pick a rock that feels good to sit on. And then after that, it's like, what looks good next to that and, and where do we position it? So fairly aesthetic there. In the very center of a rain garden, like the one that we're building here, is going to have an area in the center that is going to take basically plants that are waterlogged. So anything that will grow well in water, even a bull rush, anything that you normally would see in wetlands, you could put in a rain garden. But on the perimeter of it, you can actually.